I'm in a town called Wrightwood. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it, that's the clouds. Anyhow, way up in the mountains. But since I'm up here, I was thinking about something. Look, I'm not saying be passive or justify no kind of sin, none. But I will say this, let's not forget that none of us really started off on the straight and narrow. Now, I know I don't get it right all the time, but I'm not telling you about me. I'm telling you about the Lord, man. I'm saying he said live holy and live righteous. I got to do what I'm called to do. I'm the messenger. I ain't got to be righteous to give you the word. Show me a scripture that say I have to live righteous to give you the word. I'm living for the Lord, but God can use anybody he want to. The point I'm making is this. Don't think that you're living so good and somebody living so bad that God can't use them equally or even greater than you. I done shared my testimony. I was living in a hot mess, but God was using me in mighty ways. The fact that he used me in my hot mess, it just made me want to live right even more. So that's how I got where I am today. So to all my hot messes out there, keep on serving God. Keep standing on your faith. Work out your salvation. Practice righteousness and, and repent. Turn away from sin. But keep working. To y'all you think you better, repent and pray for them people. Amen. We got to get this right. Oh, I'm going to still talk about sin and stuff. But we got to give the solution to it, not just the problem. Amen. Praise God.